All right, we'll get started here in a, in a minute. Um, I'm very pleased, by the way, to see that the front row, which is what I always affectionately refer to as the splash zone, is well occupied, because that's usually where, if you know, I'm doing a, a booth presentation at a trade show. Yeah, is that a waterproof hoodie? Um, you know, you're, you're always trying to get people to come into the, to the front row and, you know, you're offering, like, you're not going to have to take the test at the end if you're in the front row and all this is, like, incentivizing people. But here I'm going to have to say, like, you're going to have to just sit somewhere outside the splash zone because the splash zone's fully, pretty well fully occupied. It's a pleasure to see that. Um, my name is Dormain Drewitz. I, uh, I'm on the product marketing team at Pivotal, and I also work on our customer marketing efforts, um, which is where we get to, to work on case studies and, and telling the stories of what our customers are doing with Cloud Foundry. And so, um, needless to say, I think that customer stories are super important and one of the most exciting parts of my job. So everyone here is in the right room, as in all the other rooms are the wrong room and this is the right one. Um, so I'm very passionate about customer stories and, and hearing them and learning the, uh, about what customers are doing, using the product in anger, if you will, because um, I think that's where so much knowledge actually lies. And so really excited to be on the, the track chair committee or whatever it was for organizing um, the track for today and tomorrow. I think we have you know, 13 different customer presentations over the course of the next two days. So a tremendous amount of knowledge transfer is gonna happen in this room. Um, it's, it's electric, which don't ask me what happens when you have that kind of electricity in a splash zone. And then, you know, what happens if anyone took like physics in high school, I think you know the answer to that. Um, so as folks are still trickling in, um, I'm going to hand it over to Savita uh, Reina from SAP, who was another member of the, the track chair committee, and she's got a, another couple of words to share about putting this, this set of customer talks together. Thank you, Dormin. Hi, everyone. I am Savita Reina, and I am from SAP. I work as a senior product marketing manager for SAP Cloud Platform. And I was given this uh, amazing opportunity to uh, be a co-chair for this particular track. And uh, to my surprise, I was actually amazed, really excited to see the amazing response we received in terms of the number of submissions that we received for this particular use case track. To my realization as a co-chair, uh, when I was taking, I just, I was just telling Dormin that I had taken this role that very moment, like, you know, in uh, April, in March and um, April, starting April, and uh, I was amazed at the response we got, and I really felt, uh, given that I was going to be responsible for Cloud Foundry from SAP's perspective, that Cloud Foundry has really arrived for enterprises, in the sense that it has become a de facto platform, open source platform for enterprises to build their innovative applications. So given that, uh, for this particular track, I think like, you know, you're going to hear very unique stories from many of the enterprises who are sharing their presentations today. You're going to hear from J.P. Morgan Chase, uh, one of the oldest financial services bank about um, how they are taking uh, the Cloud First initiative with Cloud Foundry. You're going to hear from Humana in terms of like, you know, how um, they are making the, this initiative as part from one team and scale Scaling it out to the entire enterprise. You're going to hear from SAP uh, in terms of like you know, how they have, as an enterprise software company, they have opened up their arms to the open source community. And uh, not only are they have they moved from being one which they just use Cloud Foundry, but now they are actively participating in the open source communities and contributing uh, there as well. One thing I definitely wanted to kind of talk about was um, about innovation. And uh, our keyno uh, keynote speaker yesterday from SAP or CTO kind of alluded to this 
uh, idea about innovation not happening in isolation. And as a technologist myself, as a marketer working for an enterprise software company like SAP, I believe that it is very important for enterprises, whatever technology we are building for enterprises, it has to be tied in back to their business processes uh, for enterprises really to leverage or get the business value uh, from whatever solutions they are building. So um, the reason I brought it up today was because the tracks, uh, the sessions we have planned for this particular track will allude to this idea in terms of how these enterprises are using Cloud Foundry to build innovations, but at the same time deliver those business uh, values back to their companies, back to their customers and stakeholders. And given that, I won't take any more time. I hope uh, that you will find the sessions presented during this track uh, enlightening and fulfilling. And, um, and uh, this is um, my hope that it is a perfect opportunity for us all to learn from one of the best in the industry. So without any further ado, let's get it rolling. Got, Thank you. Uh, we've got a couple more minutes before the program officially begins. So given the um, navigational challenges of the Santa Clara Convention Center in terms of finding this room or any other room or bathrooms or water fountains, uh, just I'll just keep talking for a couple of minutes <laughs> and let people come in. Um, but I can see a lot of people are finding their way to the right room, um, which is satisfying. Uh, Kelly, it's okay. Find a seat. You can sit next to me. Um, maybe just like a quick poll of the room. How many folks here are using Cloud Foundry in their enterprise today? Okay, and keep your hand up if you have apps in production on Cloud Foundry. Nary a hand goes down. That's wonderful. Okay, how many folks are uh, looking at evaluating Cloud Foundry today and, and trying to learn and understand more before they, they pull the trigger on, on that? Okay, a couple folks. Great. Um, I think there's going to be plenty for both of those parties to learn in terms of how to just learn from your peers also using the platform, um, as well as learn from those who have, have already taken steps further than you. Um, folks coming in, we've got definitely plenty of seats over here. Splash Zone is mostly occupied, although you could get extra friendly and sit right next to another person. I know that's sometimes awkward. Um, and let's see, okay, three more minutes. Don't wanna jump the gun too much. Um, but yeah, I think today, tomorrow, you'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll learn. And we're all gonna do it together. Um, I hope to be in this room for as much of the time as I possibly can. I have a couple of other obligations, unfortunately. But um, otherwise, I, I'm planning to just kind of park myself in here uh, and probably just find water in the back when that's necessary. Uh, so uh, fortunately, I think most of our, our human needs are, are gonna be provided for. Um, so anyways, we've got uh, a couple more minutes. Um, I would love to give an introduction of where the restrooms are. Unfortunately, I don't know where they are. Um, so that was going to be just like a wild goose chase for me whenever that comes. But as a parent of small children, I've trained myself to be able to go like eight hours without using the bathroom. Um, so hopefully everyone else here has experience with that. It's basically like Navy SEALs training from what I understand. I can go without sleep. I can go without water. Um, and so this is all going to come in handy here today for everyone. So we're going to lock the doors. As soon as everyone's in their seat, I'm going to talk in my best Valley Girl accent, um, which is another form of torture. It's not used in like most prisons, but it's an experimental thing. Um, and from there, I think that's really going to bring out the best in everyone. Okay. All right. So I think we're close enough. It's like 11:09. Uh, so I think we've got uh, Bryn and Matthew from. JP Morgan Chase, and they're going to drop some knowledge. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.